Hi, this is a video overview of the auto top-off system that I uh, designed and just got done building for my BioCube 29 and actually to go into the sump. This is a uh, complete 12-volt DC system. I'm running it off of a single 12-volt uh, UL-listed switching power supply. Switching means that it detects loads, and if there is no load, it gives no power other than a phantom signal. And then it'll ramp up the power production based on the demands of the system. This is a 5-amp five five amp power supply, so it'll be more than enough to supply this entire system. But uh, so... The entire system is run off 12 volts. I've seen a lot of systems where people were using the 12 volt side of it to run the run the sensors, these uh, these Excel sensors, and then using 120 vol volts system to run the pump. Which to me didn't make any sense. Like, how fast are you guys trying to top off your t your 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 sumps or your tanks? Me, I'd rather it kind of be just a little bit of a low flow to fill it off. So, in that and for that reason, I'm going to use a 12 volt motor. So the entire system's run on 12 volts. Um, here are the sensors for inside the tank. And then these two sensors are actually for the reservoir to monitor levels. So the power comes in, gets split up. There's basically two circuits here. There is the, the pump and sensor circuit, and then there is the t um, reservoir circuit that's the two cylinders. So this is the configuration it'll be in most of the time where the two LEDs for the reservoir are on. on. They, they link to these. So in the reservoir... Um, I'll have them on all the time. Uh, when the reservoir level A gets down below and this, this one's triggered, it'll turn off that LED. And then this one will be way further down in the reservoir and it does the same thing. Whenever the water level drops, it'll shut off that LED. So this is the way it'll normally look. Now for the pump, uh, the pump's wired up to these and this LED. So right now this is the configuration they would be in if the pump was off. Um, this is the middle one that will actually trigger for levels. The bottom one is for water changes. If I forget to turn the system off, when this one goes down, it will turn off the system. And then this is the redundancy sensor. This will be mounted just a little bit higher than this one, and if it gets triggered, it will turn off the system. So right now it's off, but uh, I'll go ahead and flip this one to uh, replicate water level down. You've seen the light come on and now the pump's running. If, uh, if the pump kept running, this sensor got stuck, when it hits this top one, it's gonna shut off the power. And then the same circumstance where, say I'm doing a water change and I forgot to turn this off, um, it's gonna run and run and run because the sensor's down, but whenever it gets to this one and it drops, it'll shut everything off. And like you saw, that LED's tied to it. So I'm going to pick up a, a, a project box, um, a power illuminated LED switch, throw this all together and then try to incorporate it into, into my sump. So just wanted to show that this is really easy. Um, the power supply was like 10 bucks. The motor was like eight and all these sensors were like five and the LEDs were like five. So like 30 bucks and I've got myself a, a completely DC auto top off with some redundancy built into it and warning indicators for uh, my water level in the reservoir. So definitely something worth looking into. I can draw up the diagram for it if you, if anybody needs the, uh, needs the wiring diagram but uh that's it so thanks for watching